Okay, comfortable with sign rule? Mm, isn't it very easy? All you need to know is sign A over A, sign B over B, sign C over C. Now I'm going to move on to cosine rule. Now in cosine rule, it is an amazing thing. I will show you the formula and it looks a little bit complex. I'm going to teach you something, a little Indian dance. All right, that connects you to the formula, but let's look at it first. Now in cosine rule, what is the rule we want to find out? All right, if you look at B squared, B squared, if you look at this, B squared is equal to A squared plus C squared minus 2 AC cos B cos B. So B squared equals to A squared plus C squared minus 2 AC cos B, the angle between them. Now, all right? Now, if you look at this triangle A, B, C, are you ready? A, B, B is here, C is here. A is facing A, the side. B is facing B. C is facing C. So, if you have a triangle, you want to find out this side. Alright, let's just don't worry about the name. We want to find out this side. Are you with me? Now, you just do A, A, you take, you want to find this side? This square, this length, you square it. Plus, this length, you square it. Alright, so this A squared plus B squared minus two times of this length, here this length, and this minus 2AB cos C. This angle here in the dance, right? You got the head shape. Now, if you want to find the unknown again, the unknown length, let's put this unknown, this is the triangle. This unknown is equal to A squared, this length, plus B squared, this length, minus 2AB, 2AB minus cos, the angle between them, cos, the angle between them, all right? So this, I just taught you a little Indian dance, a head shake. And it's so easy when you connect formulas with something, some point. And as I said to you, our brains are only this size. So we don't want to cram it up with too many things. Let's put a little bit of fun into maths. So you look at it, B squared equals to this A squared minus C squared. Okay, plus, sorry, plus C squared minus 2AC cos B. Got it? Good. Now, if I want to find out what is A squared, how do you do that? A squared will be equal to what? A squared equals the two sides. A squared equals to B squared plus C squared, B squared plus C squared minus 2BC. And the angle between B and C cos A. Alright, cos A. Similarly, if I want to find out what is C squared, hey, what are you? What is C squared going to be? C squared is going to be A squared plus B squared, yeah? Minus 2AB, 2 times of this 2, cos C. Now, do you see this whole package? Alright, this whole package. I want to erase this white line off so that it doesn't fall in. Alright, so this is the line. Look at the formula. Do not learn it so much with so much of pain. Put a little bit of rhythm into it. Alright, 2AC cos B. Here is 2BC cos A. And here is 2AB cos C. That's the formula of cosine rule. Alright? So what is it? When do you apply cosine rule? How different is it from sine rule? Now you see, you want to find an, a side. 
and you're given the two sides of the triangle. Well, how do you find that unknown side? We look at this triangle. This side, the square of this unknown side is equal to the square of this, the length of this. All right? It's good, you know, your shoulder. All right, you're going to stretch it a little bit. The square of this plus the square of this minus 2AB, this 2, minus 2 times of this 2, and the angle between them, cos of, okay? So take note, B squared equals to A squared plus C squared minus 2AC. Connect this, AC, cos B. The B is the angle that's facing the side. Here, what is A squared equals to? B squared plus C squared minus 2BC, cos, which angle? The angle facing the A, cos A. What is C squared equals to? A squared plus B squared minus 2AB, cos what? The angle that faces the side C is a cos C. Got it? It's so easy. Now, when you're given like this, you're given two sides and the included angle. Can we ever apply the sine rule? We can't. Can we apply Tuakaso? Tuakaso, uh, sorry, the, the trigonometry, remember, for the right angle? We can't because it's not a right angle triangle. That's when sine rule, cos rule is the formula to use. In this case, what rule do we use? We use cosine rule. Remember, ah, Indian dance. We call this length x. And what is x squared equal to? 7 squared. Are you in the room yourself? Practice your Indian dance. Mm, 7 squared plus 7.5 squared minus 2 times 7 times 7.5 cos 50 degrees. Put it into your calculator and see what you get. Find the square root of that. All right? Let's get the answer first. 7 squared plus 7.5 squared minus 2 times 7 times 7.5 cos 50 degrees. Yeah. And you get this answer 37 points. You get 37 point seven five seven all right that's x squared now and then you're gonna find the square root of it and you can see that the square root of it will give us oops my square root was erased i gotta put it in 37 square root of this will give me mm, 6.144 6 6.14 now, are you convinced by it? Is my answer right? You ask yourself, if these are all in CN, it's good to write units of measurement. Or if it's not written, then you write it as units. Now, is my answer right? Look at this, 50 degrees. It's as big or small. Relatively small, right? So that's why it's facing 6.14. Alright? So let's write it. X. You're 6.14. Now what happens if they say, hey, what is this angle then? What is this angle if you're asked? Angle A. What do you do? Can we use cosine rule? We got this length and this length and this length. We can. Let's try it out. Shall we? Alright? Now can we use sine rule? Yes, we can also. But we'll do sine rule first and then we do cosine rule to find the angle. We look at that and we say, hey, 50 degrees, you're facing this. As long as we have a given pair, sine 50 degrees over 6.14 equal to sine A over 7.5, right? We've got a given pair. We want to find out what is A. Now you can see, uh, you can guess is A going to be more than 50 or less than 50? Ah, yes. You know the secret is more than 50 degrees. Right, let's put it in the calculator. Let's move on. So you said, A, hey, you know what? I'm in a hurry. I should move that over. So I get 7.5. 7.5 7 
sine 50 degrees over 6.14 equal to sine A. Now we fit this information in 7.5 times sine 50 degrees and then the answer you're going to divide it by 6.14 and you get 0 0.9 this whole thing sine A will be a 0 0.9 3, 5, 7, 2, blah, 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 sine A. And you want to find out what is A, you do an inverse sine on that, and you will get the answer, which is 69.34, right? So you can see that A is 69.3 degrees. And you guessed it right. You know it's going to be bigger than 50 degrees because A is facing. And I want to show you again one other angle. This is 69.3. And you want to find out, I just want to be, sometimes we've got to be a little bit of a nosy Parker. We just want to put our nose into many things. Because especially you, you've got a curious mind. You want to know what is this angle. And I'm sure you want to know, is Mrs. K saying the right thing? Right, I let you have it. Please tell me what is that angle. And I'm going to check you. You're going to say 180, yeah. Minus 69.3 minus 50 degrees. And you get it as 60.7. Yeah. And I told you that this is the biggest angle facing the biggest side. Second biggest angle, the 60.7 facing 7 and this kuchi small small kuchi means small angle faces 6.14 you got all this these are what we say intellectual guessing looking at it and making very quick estimations all right now we move on but i told you my dear we could also use another way of doing this sum we did the sign rule so this is method one. We need to know many other methods, don't we? To be very comfortable with maths. Now we look at the sum and say, hey you, what is it? We've got all the air sites here. This is 7.5, this is 7, and this is 6.14. I know you've got this angle 50 degrees. We want to find out what is A. Imagine we don't use this. We use cosine rule. When we have three sides, all right, we can use cosine rule too to find the angle. A is facing 7.5. You see it? So if A is facing 7.5, we make 7.5 the leader. Who is A facing? So using cosine rule, 7.5 squared. Remember the Indian dance is equal to 7 squared plus 6.14 squared minus 2ab 2 times 7 times 6.14 cos a you saw that my dear good you saw that all right now we want a we said a you have to move over there your minus will become a plus so it's 2 times 7 times 6.14 cos A is equal. The whole family shifts over. The minus becomes a plus. This is a 7 squared. This is a 6.14 squared. This plus, what's the hidden sign here? Plus, when it moves over, becomes a minus. And then you get this whole answer. Your cos A will be equal to this whole answer that you get, all right? And you're going to divide it by, you're going to divide it by this whole thing here, this attachment. 2 times 7 times 6.14 and you will get cos A and then you find the inverse cos. Shall we do it? And let's see what it is, all right? You will get... All right, 7 squared plus 6.14 squared minus 7.5 squared. 
Are you doing too? Good. Along with me? Mm. And then we're going to take that answer and we're going to divide it, put a bracket, 2 times 7 times 6.14. You get that answer. Do you get 0 0.3542? Right. And then you press an inverse cos, right? And you got 69.25. Yeah. You got your A as 69.25, which is 69.3 degrees. Yeah. You saw that. So it's the same, 69.3. So this is just alternative methods. You can use a sine rule or you can use a cosine rule depending on what the situation is. If you have all three sides not given this, then you have, like here, I use the sine rule because I'm using 50 degrees. I'm using 50 degrees, so I said A, doom doom. Sine 50 over 6.4, 6.14, over sine A over 7.5. But if I was not given the 50 degrees, all right, then I would have no choice. I can't use the sine rule. I will have to use the cosine rule. But what is the trick again? That's where many of us, many of my students, they have a problem. A, how do I find out A? Who do I make the leader? So now, if I trained your eye to see, who do I make the leader? If I want to find A, I got to make the opposite side the 7.5 as leader, right? 7.5 squared is equal to 7 squared plus 6.14 squared minus 2 times 7 times 6.14 cos A. Got it? I feel good when I get like strained. Right, so you put in that formula, move your cos A over, but it's not so easy to move your cos, right? Please remember the rules of arithmetic. Carry the whole family. We are a family of numbers, all right? Carry it over. And then cos A, stay there. All of you strangers come here and fit in into the calculator and yee you get that angle, right? So that's the application of cosine rule. But I want to look at this again. Now, just, it's just a little thing. How do you go about it? Can we buzz further on it? Mm. Let me get a lovely white chalk. I like to make the contrast. Now, what rule would you use? Do we have, do we use a uh, cosine rule? Do we have a sides? No, we have this. So in this case, we will use sine rule, right? We have 35 degrees and four. So we can find out what is x. We can't use cosine rule because we don't have all three sides, or if we want to find this side, we need that angle. We don't have it. Do we? We don't. If we know that angle, then we can use cosine rule. Y squared equals to Indian dance, 10 squared plus 4 squared minus 2 times this 2 cos this angle, right? We can't. So now we use sine rule. Sine 35 over 4, yeah, equals to sine x over 10, right? And then what do you do? You bring the 10 over, so your sine x will be equal to 10 sine 35 over a 4. Now, as I said to you, is x going to be bigger than 35? What's your guess? Yes, it's going to be bigger because it's facing the bigger side. Great. So you press into the calculator 10, sine 35, get the answer, or you can put straight away divide also, divide by 4, and you will get 10, let me press it again, 10, sine 35, all right, we get the answer, and we divide by 4. Oops, you look at it, I want to tell you something about it. Sine x equals to 1.433. Now we've got this answer. And if we press an inverse sign, and you will say, oh, oh, error 2. Error 2. X 
is error too because sine x can never exist in this case. So we said, ouch, this triangle does not exist if you were to draw it out because it's practically impossible. As long because if you can't find the angle, we can never construct a triangle. So it's really good, isn't it? When you want to play games, you want to do a construction, you know your sign rule, you said, A, that's out because it doesn't fit in. All right? We'll have a little bit more practice on the sine and cosine. A very quick general revision again. Your cosine rule, what is it? B A squared equals to B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cos A. All right? And your sine rule, sine A over A equal to, yes, shall we do it again? Sine A over A equals to sine B over B equals to sine C over C. And with these two rules, the fundamentals, we can work out the lengths. All right? And now I'm going to teach you right now soon how to find the area of a triangle if it's not right angle.